Well, here are the favorites. Is Sylvan Zulin from Russia, but now skating out of Lake Placid. Silver medalists in 89 and 92, and they're coming off their first European gold medal championship. And just about everybody in the competition describes them as the standard of excellence in the compulsory dances. Well, when you watch this dance, I think you will see why everybody has unanimous. When you watch this dance, I think you will see why almost everybody has chosen this team to win the gold medal. Watch this team skate. Try to envision watching them just from the waist up. There's very little upper body movement that takes place during their performance of this dance, and that's paramount to being successful and getting good marks here in the Westminster Walls. Not only that, but in this section, you can hardly see any space between them, and that's very important. epitome of what ice dancing is all about. I watch them, I can picture them floating across a ballroom dance floor. They, they just, I don't like cliches, but they melt the ice. Look at the match on the free legs here. Marks for couple number 19. Yeah. Never takes long for the marks in compulsory dances to come up for Maya Usova and Alexander Zulin, and they are first place ordinals across the board. A 5-7, the low mark from Hungary. The rest are 5-8s, and as expected, they are the leaders after the first compulsory dance. As expected, Usova Zulin are the leaders after the Westminster Waltz. Gritschek Platov second. Rakamo Koko of Finland are in third place. Then the third Russian couple, Kurlova Fedorov are fourth, Caligari Kamerlengo of Italy fifth, and Canadian Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz in 15th place. We'll be back with the second compulsory dance, the Argentine Tango, when CBC's coverage of the 93 World Figure Skating Championships return to Prague. 